Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be making a mask for this Vaughn 17 inch boy, small boy's axe. Very nice axe. Nice handle shape. Vaughn's foot on the end. Axe has been sharpened using the same sharpening system that I showed you all on previous channels. They use it for everything. Uh, if you haven't seen that uh, that video yet, you need to go over there and look and see how to make one of those inexpensive sharpening systems. But that's what was used to put the edge on this axe. Very, very sharp. But today, like I said, we're going to be making a mask. I've been working with a pattern, and I think that I've come up with this as a pattern. And here's how it'll fit um, on the axe itself. It'll slip in through the bottom like so. This will be the line of the blade that's inside. We'll put a welt on the end and then there'll be a sole line. There'll be a flap that comes up from the bottom like this. And then we'll pull it up real tight and make sure it all fits well when we put our leather in. And then we're going to put a snap right here where I've got it marked. Well, let's see how it turns out. Let's cut some leather. When you're cutting your leather out, be careful what you're doing. Take your time to lay out your pattern on your leather. You don't want to make the mistake of flipping the pattern over from the wrong side and cutting the wrong side of leather. Sometimes, depending on your pattern, that won't matter if it's all symmetrical. But when you have a pattern that's as oddly shaped as something like this, you got to make sure that you're not cutting something up that, and you're just wasting your leather. Leather's expensive; it's hard to come by. So if the rough side of the leather is supposed to be facing which way or another you decided to go make sure that you lay your pattern down accordingly and then that you mark out your pattern on the side that it's supposed to uh, I want the rough side of my leather to be pointed inside toward the axe so I'm going to lay my pattern on upside down to make sure that it's facing the right direction that way when I cut it out and start to shape it, it'll be shaped in the right direction. I think that's in a good spot here. Try not to waste as much leather as you can when you're laying out your your products and that way you won't waste hardly as much. I just use a regular pencil. I've been laying on leather as long as it's a light uh, colored leather. Sometimes you'll have to use a pen or a marker or something, but just make sure you got got it marked hold it in the right spot keep your pattern tight down on the ground onto your leather now that welt from the pattern remember our axe is going to lay into um, and on our mask up to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut that, that out now. Because that's the size we're going to make our welt. Now 
Then we're going to take and we're going to lay this out as well. Find a good spot for it on our leather so we don't waste as much leather. And I believe I'm going to put it on the end down here. Maybe along here. this laid up all right let's get this thing cut out There are all kinds of different things that you can use to cut your leather out. Um, rotary cutter works really good on leather. Um, you can use a heavy duty pair of shears or um, X-Acto knife, whatever you have that will cut through the leather. Be careful, take your time, follow the lines, keep control of your blade. You don't want to destroy any leather if you can help it. Too expensive to come by. Go around these curves with a bigger blade. You just take small, tiny cuts until you make a corner like so. Follow it along, you get to another corner like that. You just take those just minor cut, little bitty cuts until you come around the edge.
there's the welt cut out and ready to go. Again on this corner, outside corner, cut that bulk off and start going around that corner and just barely chewing it off as you got that big blade to work with. Smaller blade I was working with while ago, just a little bit too too shallow to cut through it all. Sometimes on these tight corners, you just have to get in there with a smaller blade and cut them out. But you can't get that big rotary blade inside there. And then it's even tedious work for an exacto knife sometimes. They're so small of areas to get inside of. And you just have to work with it, do the best you can. Be careful, keep your fingers out of the way. Don't want to pull back no bloody stumps or nothing, really.
So at this point, we want everything to match and be all pretty and exact, but uh, we still have time to make minor corrections when I do little cuts here and there to make sure line, things line up. And now's not the time to worry about it just yet. No, no panic, need to get involved. But this is the basic shape um, it'll be in. Um, we're going to work on shaping it a little bit more and and things we're going to do to it before we get uh, much further. But we're going to, that'll be folded over just like that. Again, we'll take our axe. It'll be slipping in from the bottom down here because this is going to be, this is solid up here. It ain't going, it's solid up here. It ain't going to go nowhere. Slip in from the bottom when it's all sewed up like so. Again, they'll be st stitched in and they'll be, our welt will be inside there so it don't cut the stitches and all that. So, our axe will come in from the bottom, like so. This flap will come over. And then we'll put a snap right here to make sure it stays on good and tight. Well, we got a few things to go yet before we get to that point. All right, let's get some rid of some of our mess and we'll get right back to it. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to get our welt put inside of here, just like so. And again, we're not going to worry right now if this doesn't 100% line up with our cut line because we're not perfect. But what we're going to do is, is we're going to get this glued in here. We want it to stay good. Uh, that solid surface then will help us when we go to put our holes in, our leather to sew in later on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to rough up this surface. I use a four in hand, uh, rough surface of four in hand. Everybody needs to have one of these. I don't care what you're doing. Uh, you can do just almost anything with this, work on all kinds of stuff uh, with these four different surfaces. But if you'll take uh, one of your sharper surfaces and this, the slick side of your leather, you won't have to do this side. The slick side of the leather we want to put in between uh, these other two portions of uh, you know the rougher side of the leather but we want to scuff that up because it it'll it won't take glue well and uh, we want it to make sure that it it has all those surfaces that the rest of it has for glue to get inside of and seep inside of Now, I use Gorilla Glue to put all my leather together, and it holds super good. It gets in there, gets in all the crevices, all the cracks in the leather and everything, and it hits and bonds everything because it swells up. But Gorilla Glue locks for the surfaces that you're going to bond it to to be damp. So we take just a little bit of water here, squirt a little bit of water on there, rub it in with our finger cause it won't hardly take it by itself unless you rub it in there. We don't want it soap and water, super wet or nothing. Not soak through with water, just enough to get down in there. Gets that top layer of the leather all moist. And as well as that, we're going to put some little bit of water on our, our welt as well. Again, we don't want it sopping wet. We just want it wet enough 
the surface, get all damp to activate that glue really well. Now, I'm going to take a rag and I'm going to just make sure that it's just damp. Just try to squeeze out anything here that shouldn't be there. Again, damp is the key. And then, we'll take our welt. We'll take the end of this Gorilla Glue bottle and we're just going to squeeze a little bitty bit. Hardly you can't see, but... You can tell that I've got that whole surface up through there and the shiny portion there, but we want to make sure that we got it in every little bitty bit everywhere where we're going to put this. Well, um, do the other side as well. Just make sure you got a little bit, not a lot. You put a lot on there and it's going to squeeze out of every corner and every which way it can squeeze, it's going to squeeze out and make a blooming mess. So you don't want to get into that. Take your rag or something else and you need to wipe that bottle lot top off a little bit or it'll be all crusted up over and you won't be able to get the bottle closed. Make sure you close that bottle up good and tight because stuff is expensive even for a little bitty part you want to make sure you got it for use it for a long time to come get that welt down in there where it's supposed to kind of hold it in place here again we we're not so worried at this point that this thing fits 100% the way it's supposed to because we can come back later and do some trimming and buffing and everything else. Try not to get down on your fingers though and rub it on your leather because boy boy it, it won't come off or it don't want to anyway. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to, while this thing is still like it is, I'm going to take my knife and I am going to trim some of the the uh, thickness off of this very end here because I want it to fit up in that corner good. And take your knife and just barely run it across that end. Down there and shape off that top layer there. Just barely cut some off there. You may be more into the leather works. So I'm just a beginner, really. I am. Um, I don't hardly know anything about it, just enough to get me in trouble. But. I make several things every once in a while out of leather and I enjoy working with it. And it's a real good hobby, I think, to get into. Um, you can spend all kinds of money on tools or or you can do with what you got on hand, which is what I kind of do, um, especially when you get started. To me, you know, you can make it as fancy or just get the tools special tools and everything if you want uh, but if you ain't going to get into it too deep um, you know there's really no need to to spend so much money on it all right let's see if we can't put it back together a little better than what it was trying to fit a while ago and again I'm gonna make sure I ain't got no glue on my hands Wipe them off with a towel before you go putting it back together.
you definitely don't want no glue in places on your outside of your mask because that it won't let it hold the uh, won't let it hold any dyes or anything I still not wanting to fit up in that corner the way I want it to so I'm going to take just a little bit of this top edge off just a hair coming the other way with that welt alright let's try that alright fold it back over again If it was sticking outside of our area, it'd be one thing, and we could trim it off later on, but it's not wanting to stick inside. There we go. Fits much better. And again, it don't. it's a little bit long still. Uh, cut it long. That's a little bit but it's fitting everywhere just fine and it's coming together at the bottom here the way it's supposed to be coming together so we're going to leave it like that I'm going to squeeze it together here what I'm going to do I'm going to take me some popsicle sticks because I don't want to put impressions of some clamps uh, onto my leather I'm going to run that down the edge just like that because that's where we're going to stick our clamps is down this edge to hold these together and make sure the glue don't push it all out uh, push out the leather and make it look all crazy I have several of these little squeeze clamps and we're just going to run them right down through here just like so hold another end there put one down there another one so I got one on each end now but I'm gonna make sure that this thing is clamped down good I got a bunch of these and I just love using them I pretty much run them all the way down the surface here all right there it is all clamped up we're gonna leave that for a little while Oop. Got one of my clamps missed up here. Good thing I was checking it. Alright, we're all clamped up. We're going to leave it like this. We're going to let it dry. When we come back, we're going to stitch this thing up. Come back with us. Until next time, we'll see you. God bless you and have a great day.